Hey everybody, I'm Mark Nice, and today we're gonna do some product photos. So I'm here in my studio right now, and I'm selling some of my old lenses. I thought I'd walk you guys through the process, show you my setup. This way you guys can use it when you're selling your stuff and get some of the higher quality photos that'll make your photos and your product stand out from everything else that's on the page. So right now I've got my Canon Rebel XS set up with my Tamron 28 to 80 lens. It's an old lens that I don't really use anymore, so I figured I'd sell it and I'll show you guys exactly how I'm gonna go about doing that. So let's go through the setup right now that I have. So I've got my camera and my lens set up. I put the lens on the camera to give some perspective to the customer, to let them see how it'll look on their camera, and to kind of show the size if they're not familiar with a particular lens. I've also have it set up on my stool with a black backdrop. I like the black on black look. It's very sleek, it looks nice. Now, as for lighting, I've got a nice overhead light that's right here that's lighting me up, and I've got a nice backlight right here that lights it from behind that shows all the details. These are Lighting is very important. You want to make sure you have proper lighting. For a product like this, you want to use studio lighting versus natural lighting. It shows all the details, especially when you're selling something used. You want to show any possible blemishes or damages. That way the customer has a good idea as to what they're going to buy. So let's move on. So now that we've got our setup and we're ready to go for photos, let's talk about the actual gear that we're going to be using. I've got my Canon 6D right here with my 24 to 70, and I picked this particular lens because it has a nice macro feature. It's not a true macro lens, but it allows me to get up close for an object of this size and it works perfect. Typically, if you're doing product photos of a smaller product like this, you want to have a macro lens or a lens with a macro feature. If you're shooting something like jewelry, you're going to want a true macro lens. If you don't have the money for a macro lens, seeing as they are a bit expensive, there's macro tubes that you can buy out there for about $15 online that allow any lens that you do have to be turned into a macro lens. It's a great thing to keep in mind if you're shooting jewelry or small products that you need to sell. Next thing you want to keep in mind is your angles and your perspective. Now when you're shooting a used item like this, you want to make sure you get perspective all around. You want to have a 360 style of perspective because a customer wants to know every detail about the product that you're selling. It's the same thing that works when you're car shopping. If you look online for a car, you see an ad for a car that looks great, and there's only one photo, it's from 50 feet away, it's from a cell phone, the quality's not very good. Chances are you're probably gonna look right past it and go to the next car. So you wanna show every angle you can from the item that you're selling. I like to show it from the side with the gear on, with the camera on, as well as by itself. I'll show it from the top, I'll show it all around, I'll show the insignia, I'll show all the little details on there so the customer has a full idea and knows exactly what they're buying. So now that we got the photos done and we got the products and we got the lighting and we got everything, it comes the editing. This is often the last step, but it's not a step that should be skipped. However, it's a step that should be taken very lightly. This is not an art project. These are product photos that you're trying to sell to somebody. If they are highly photoshopped and manipulated and they look fake, but you say they're their actual product, people are gonna be very skeptical and they may not buy. So you want your photos to give a real perspective of the item that you're selling. If there are damages or there are blemishes to the item, don't hide them, show them off. You might not necessarily wanna highlight them, but you do want them there for the person to see so that way they don't feel like they're getting cheated. So how do I edit my photos? Well, typically when I'm shooting an item like this with heavy on the black, I like to bump up the contrast and make sure the black all flows together. I like to make sure the lighting is very well. The highlights aren't out of proportion and the shadows and the details. Typically, I do bump up the details just a bit just to show a little more of the image, let it pop out from the, pop out from the photo. But I like to keep overall editing of the photos to a minimum and it's something you should take into consideration as well. You put all these things into perspective and you'll have some very killer product photos that you'll be sure to sell your product. So, have a good one.